Yo, what's up mga pare ko? I'm back with another video. So, pag-usapan po natin ngayon is Law of Cosines. So, after discussing the Law of Sines, we're now here for the Law of Cosines. So, the use is also the same. Law of Sines and Law of Cosines, it is used for solving oblique triangles. So, kung may mga problems na yung given ay hindi possible sa Law of Sines, eh baka pwede naman natin yung masolve using Law of Cosines. And what is Law of Cosines? Again, we have an oblique triangle. This is... Angles A, B, and C. This is side B, this is side C, this is side A. So what is the law of cosine? The law of cosine simply states that C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine C. A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cosine A. And that's also the same as B squared is equal to A squared plus C c squared minus 2ac cosine b okay so this is the law of cosines we have three formula here so kung mapapansin niyo para madaling ma-memorize yan this is simply the pythagorean pythagorean uh, formula pero lahat yan nasa addition so kung c yung nasa isang side mo yung angle mo rin sa kabila is yung c at ang i-multiply mo dito sa gitna is yung uh, Andito rin, A times C. So, ito, A, B, A, B rin yun. B, C, B, C. A, C, A, C. Alright? That's C, that's C, that's A, that's A, that's B, that's B. So, have your own way to memorize this formula. So, how can we will use this to solve certain problems of law of cosines? Ngayon, meron tayong problem dito. Side, we are given with a side, a side, and an angle. Pero kung mapapan, kung sa sign, kung sa sign law, kailangan at least kung ito ay Angle A dapat ito dapat dito may side A. Pero dito hin, ka, pero kapag hindi yon yung situation for example this is side A, this is this angle A, side B, side C, walang magkaparehas diyan. Hindi natin pwedeng magamit yung side. Gagamitin na natin ngayon yung cosine law. So katulad dito sa example natin dito. First let's draw our oblique triangle. Let's label that as A B C B A, C. Okay, let's input the data. B natin is 25 uh, degrees. C natin is 9. A natin is 8. So basically guys, wala tayong naka-ratio. So hindi natin magagamit yung sine law. What we can use is the cosine law. To solve, to solve for that, we will, ano yung pwede natin mahanap dito? Pwede natin mahanap yung value Uh, ng side B muna. Let's, we, are go, we are given with A, C, and angle B. So, from this formula, we can solve for the value of our side B. So, let's go back here. Let's write that. We solve for the value of the side B. B squared is equals to A squared plus C squared minus 2. AC cosine, kung ano yung dito, siya rin yung andito, cosine B. So, let's substitute values. A squared is 9 squared, that's equals to 81, plus 8 squared is uh, 8 squared is 64, minus 2 times A is 8, C is 9, cosine of 25 degrees. So let's uh, simplify that. 81 plus 64 is equals to 145, minus 2. 2 times 8 times 9 is equals to 144 cosine 25. So, uh, that would be equal to B squared is equals to 145 minus 144 cosine of 25 degrees. To solve for B, let's square root that. Square root of 145 minus 144 cosine 25. Evaluating that in our calculator is square root of 18. So, I will just round that off. Value is 4. So, the value of our side B is 4. Okay. Next, solve naman natin ngayon yung any of these two angles. To solve for any of that two angle, we can use any of the remaining formulas. Okay. Uh, C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine C. Okay. So, I will find for the angle C. Mas magandang i-manipulate muna yung formula, guys, bago mag-substitute para hindi mas magulo yung solution. So, to do that, I will transpose uh, ito, yung buong ito sa kabilang side para ito na lang yung maging positive. 
that would be equal to 2 AB cosine C. This would be equal to A squared plus B squared. I will transpose C squared sa kabila. So, magiging minus C squared. And next, kasi balak ko lang na matira dito is uh, C. I-divide ko both sides. I-transpose ko itong 2AB sa kabila. So, cosine of C would be equal to A squared plus B squared minus C squared over 2AB. Next thing to do here, guys, is i-arc sign ko yung mga to, pa, arc cosine, para makuha ko yung value ng angle C. So, C will be co arc cosine of A squared plus B squared minus C squared over 2AB. So, I derive, I am now with this formula and I can now solve using substitution yung ating mga kina to find for the angle C. So, cos negative 1, the value of our A is equals to 8. So, that would be, this would be equal to 8 squared plus B, which is 4 squared minus C, which is 9 squared over 2 times A, which is 8, and B, which is 4. Okay, so, calculating that, in my calculator shift, my angle C would be equal to 90.89. That's approximately 91, 91 degrees. Okay, so that's approximately 91 degrees. So the value now for my angle C is 91 degrees. So para ma-solve ko na yung angle A, I will just need to subtract there 180 minus 91 plus 25. So subtracting that, ano yung final answer natin? 91 plus 25 is equals to 116 minus 180, 64. So the value of angle A is equals to 64. So this is... 64 degrees. So, let's do our checking method. Dapat, the largest angle, what is the largest angle here? It's 91. Opposite, it should have the largest side. Tama. 91, this is 9. This is 64, 8, 25, 4. Tama. This is somehow correct. So, that's how to solve for a sine, sine angle. Next naman natin is solve is, kapano pag tatlong side lang yung given. So, first thing to do, is to, oh my god, ang pangit na ng triangle. Let's draw our oblique triangle. This is triangle A. This is B, C. This is side A, C, B. Okay. So, let's input data. B is 13. A is 9. C is 15. Okay. So, let's solve that. How will we solve that? Okay. So, any of the three will do. I will choose the... Okay, so I want first to solve for angle A. So I will choose A squared is equals to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cosine of A. So I, because I'm solving for angle A, substituting, okay? Again, i-manipulate ko muna yung formula para mas madali kong, para hindi mas magulo yung solution natin. So I'm finding for cosine A, transpose ko to sa kabila. That would be 2BC cosine A is equals to B squared plus C squared minus A squared. Devote both sides by 2BC. And next, I will co I will uh, arc cosine this para mas solve ko yung angle A. So, cosine negative 1, that would be equal to B squared plus C squared minus A squared over 2BC. Okay, so let's substitute values. Where's that? Let's substitute values. Cosine negative 1. B squared natin is 13 squared plus 15 squared minus 9 squared over 2 times B. B natin is 13. C natin is 15. So, solving that using our calculators, shift cos 13, 13 squared plus 15 squared minus 9 squared. So, our final answer would be approximately 36.62 that's approximately 37 37 degrees so our angle a here is 37 degrees okay so to solve for the other to solve naman for the other uh, uh, values we let's use another formula so kung mapapansin nyo this has been a constant let's just change kung ano yung kailangan natin so, if now, if I'm solving for the angle B, let's use this formula para hindi na tayo mag-formulate ulit. That would be equal to B is equals to 
arc cosine of negative 1. Since ito, B to, ibig sabihin, yung ima-minus ima dito is also B. So, I'll put, I'll do that here. So, ito, magiging AC na lang yung matitira. So, A squared plus C squared minus B squared. Dapat ito, yung angle na hinahanap mo ay yun yung ima-minus mo rin. Over 2A times C. 2AC. So, parang ganyan lang yan. So, also, you need to memorize these types of formula para mas hindi ka, uli, hindi ka pa ulit-ulit na mag-reconstruct or mag-reformulate uh, ng original formula. So, substituting values, cosine negative 1, ang value ng ating A is 9, 9 squared, 9 squared plus C squared natin, which is 15 squared minus B squared. B squared natin is 13 squared over 2AC. Ano yung value ng ating A? Ang value ng ating A is uh, 9. Ang value ng ating C is 15. So, solving that, our answer would be would be equal to 59.50. That's approximately 60 degrees. Okay. So, we now know that the value of our angle B is 60 degrees. Now, to solve for the angle C, we'll just subtract that. 180 minus 60 plus 37, that's equal to... Ilan? 160 plus 60 plus 37 is equal to 97 minus 180, that's 83. So the value of our angle C is 83 degrees. This is 83 degrees. So let's do our initial checking. Kung tama, kung kunwari tama yung sagot natin, our largest angle is 83. So, opposite that should have the largest side. Tama, 15. That's the largest side. The lowest angle is 37. Opposite that should have the lowest side. That's 9. Tama. So, basically, sa pagtatansya, tamang-tama yung sagot natin. Alright? So, that's it, mga parikoy. That's the law of cosines. Uh, another... Another way here sa law of cosines, pwede din sa law of cosines kung nakakuha natin ng ibang values, pwede na natin i-mix yung law of sines to solve for another values. If you you have you can have a different ways of how to solve that use combining law of sines. So that is guys, please memorize this formula and you can already master the law of cosines. So that's it how to solve uh, using the law of cosines. If you have some problem, comment down below, we'll try to answer that. Bye-bye, mga pare ko eh.